No. All right, guys, today we're going to attack the quarter position. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off in typical position. My favorite position to start out in is just a spiral right. So I'm here, my hand's a little deep, and I'm driving in. I'm not going too deep. My hand's just inside his hip between his hip flexor and his groin. Just a classic grip on the elbow, and I'm driving in, making him carry my weight. What we're going to attack here is him crossing my leg. So if he takes this leg and hooks over me, I'm going to grapevine. So I'm taking my leg and hooking. I'm going to walk around back so you can see my leg. So my leg comes across. He hooks over. I come across to here. All right? As soon as I get that, I'm coming up and I'm grabbing his chin. I'm going two fingers on and two fingers on, and I'm keeping it tight on my bicep. When I drive into him, I'm taking this arm. He's like a table. So I've got to push the weight off of this arm. I drive in and suck it up. When I suck it up, as soon as I have this, this knee's going to collapse right inside his, and I'm pulling his chin. So I drive in, suck it, drop my knee, come over, to here. And if you notice, I still have the leg. I'm going to keep the chin and come up, bring the leg to me, hook it, release the head, come off to the side for my knee bar. Now when I come here, I'm crossing my feet, and I'm going straight into the butt crack. For a regular knee bar here, with a figure four grip, I'm always on the outside of my head. I'm not going to come in here like this where he can roll over. I'm pushing down, locking up, and extending my hips for one. For my back swim, I'm going to keep positive control. I keep it hooked here, X my arms here, and switch. Straight into this for two. For three, I'm coming down with my toe hold. I'm going to bend the leg down and run the toes straight through his butt crack. Okay, so there's your three from there. So to reverse it, I'm going to start off this time in the bottom position. He comes in, he's got a tight waist on me. Come all across. Tight waist on me, and he drives in with his knee behind me. So that left knee comes in behind my butt, just like that. As soon as you feel that, I'm hooking my leg again. I'm grabbing here, tight, clamp, and I'm going to drive back hard. And the reason I'm driving back hard is I don't want to take my shoulder and run it here. I want this shoulder all the way to this knee on this. So I drive back hard into him, clamp it, I take my shoulder all the way down, and roll over. Take it again, same thing. I don't want to take release that wrist until I get this. So I'm keeping the wrist. When I get here, I release the wrist. The reason I'm keeping his wrist is if I let go of his wrist, he's going to come up over on top of me. So I keep the wrist here, tight underneath me, hook it, and take it. One, for my positive control here, I mean, if I already have this, this is great. One, to that. There's your X that I'm talking about. Straight here, for two, break it down, for three. And again, I want this leg bent. I don't want it sitting here straight on me trying to muscle this. I want this leg down, and I want the toes Going straight down into his butt crack like that. All right, and we'll do one more. So Brian again, down in a high defense. This one, this one's pretty neat. Again, he's like a table right now. Okay, I got to get some weight in him to get these legs, especially as big and strong as he is. I'm going to drive into him, and I'm going to hook this. When I hook it, my cutting bone is going to come to the inside of his bicep right here, between his forearm and his bicep, and suck it up into my chest. So I drive in and hook it deep to myself. Now I'm going to step up my outside leg and start turning clockwise to my right. Go one, underneath the shoulder, I'm turning, turning, turning. Right foot's going to go behind his left leg. Two, left foot, straight on over. We're going to go to a little submission chain here. So number one, he's going to be the old school grapevine. I'm posting hard on his biceps into his chest area. One, hip up, there, two, I'm going to do a hip splitter, post here. Come off to the side. I'm not going to grab his toe yet. I'm moving my leg out to give myself some space. I sit hard and extend to attack his hip. For three, I'll come across posting. I pull my leg in for the calf crush. Come back up top here. Top wrist lock. Thumbs around. Elbow into the neck. My head comes down there. Do a punch choke. Straight into the neck. Right into the carotid, the grapevine, and push. Fist choke right on top of his Adam's apple here. Push my chest on it and squeeze through. And a daisy popper, getting my shoulder underneath his chin, pulling the head down, and driving through for the last one. And that's it, guys.